thank you everybody for coming this beautiful day uh, to remember all the fine gentlemen that sacrificed the town of West Bridgewater. Going back. Before I was born, 1925 is the first name up there. But we appreciate the show everybody here on Sunday morning to spend with us in celebration of the remembrance of our lost brothers of Penn. Thank you, Chief. It is an honor to be here for all of us. Uh, let me offer a word of prayer as we begin our service today. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the beauty of it and for the significance to remember these who have served. We thank you for their families, for their sacrifice, and for their memory today. We give honor to you, the giver of life, we pray today that our hearts would be drawn together in a wonderful gratitude to those who care for us and watch over us, even in times when we perhaps don't even know we have people that care for us. And so today we say thank you with grateful hearts. And we bow in your presence today and pray in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. This time there'll be a proclamation by the Board of Selectmen of West Bridgewater. Okay. Proclamation of the Board of Selectmen. Whereas firefighting is the single most hazardous profession in the nation, and whereas firefighters have continuously shown a dedication and spirit of sacrifice to the citizens of the town of West Bridgewater, and whereas it is both fitting and proper that the memory of these brave men and women should be honored, therefore be it resolved that in accordance with Chapter 221 of Acts 1978, we hereby declare June 10th, 2018 to be Firefighter Memorial Sunday, on which the West Bridgewater Firefighters Association, in reference to the same, will hold the annual Fireman's Memorial at Memorial Boulder in Pine Hill Cemetery at 9.30 a.m. And further, we, the Board of Selectmen of the Town of West Bridgewater, do hereby proclaim June 10th, 2018 as Firefighters Memorial Sunday and urge all citizens of the Town of West Bridgewater to take cognizance of this event and to participate fittingly in its observance. In witness thereof, in witness whereof we have set our hands and caused the great seal of the Town of West Bridgewater to be affixed this 10th day, June 10th. 2018. Thank you, uh, Selectmen, and all the Selectmen that are here today and uh, invited and honored guests. We say thank you. This time we'll have a roll call of the deceased members, and uh, two of the newest members of the fire department will now read the names. Detail. Detail. Sumner T. Johnson. Present. October 26th, oh. 1925. Frank P. Hatch. September 11th, 1931. Harvey Irving. January 26th, 1935. Warren P. Lawton. June 6th, 1936. Frederick N. Pillsbury. June 24th, 1940. Irvin W. Walker. October 17, 1940. John Wilbur, June 2nd, 1942. William H. Maycumber, March 14, 1943. Edwin L. Bourne, April 28, 1949. Leo A. Licini, August 20, 1951. Thomas C. Carnes, February 29, 1952. Harvey F. Hatch, November 25, 1952. Clifford W. Davis, September 3, 1953. Julian Champa, June 7, 1955. William E. Gibson, October 2nd, uh, August 2nd, 1955.
George W. Thompson, May 13th, 1968. Elmer Hedgeson, July 14th, 1960. James P. Peterson, September 28th, 1960. Fred W. Holmberg, August 21st, 1961. J. Henry Stolese, March 18th, 1962. Cecil N. Andrews, May 8th, 1962. J. Edward Hurley, October 19th, 1962. Thomas F. Guinea, June 6th, 1963. Arrestus Holmes, August 6th, 1965. George Davis, April 20th, 1966. Ernest Newcomb, July 10th, 1967. Leonard Purdy, January 5th, 1968. Howard B. Taylor, February 24th, 1969. Gerald Wilbur, June 6th, 1969. Henry M. Howard, January 21st, 1972. Raymond C. Keith, February 18th, 1972. C. Douglas Hill, June 5th, March 20th, 1975. Anton Souza, July 4th, 1975. Alphonse M. Braga, August 18th, 1975. Charles F. Ames, March 8th, 1976. Lyle J. Barnum, June 28th, 1978. George W. Gaskell, August 29th, 1978. Edward J. Grant, June 13th, 1980. Thomas B. Miles, October 4th, 1980. Richard D. Keith, December 14th, 1981. Elmer O. Hunt, October 31st, 1983. Joseph P. Souza, July 20th, 1985. Edward G. Asaph, April 6th, 1986. Edward T. Gibson, April 19th, 1986. L. Mel Caswell, February 2nd, 1991. Robert L. Fisher, March 19th, 1991. Warren P. Lawton Jr., June 21st, 1991. David W. Griffin Sr., July 12th, 1991. William E. Gibson Jr., August 9, 1991. Francis J. Crowley, May 18, 1992. Richard E. Ball, July 10, 1992. Douglas E. Ball, August 2, 1994. John C. Eldridge, June 19, 1994. Bradford E. Herrick Sr., December 21, 1994. Gordon K. Ross, Sr., April 24th, 1995. Clinton P. Howard, Sr., September 21st, 1995. William E. Kelleher, October 13th, 1997. Alfred L. Lucy, May 1st, 1998. Charles F. Minor, October 23rd, 1998. Warren I. Green, March 14th, 1999. Richard N. Karsh, February 18, 2000. Wellesley A. Howard, December 4, 2000. Thomas B. McQuinn, Jan 4, 2004. Charles T. Hatch, January 22, 2004. Thomas W. Dunleavy, October 18, 17, 2005. Lyndon T. Golder, September 13, 2006. Howard G. Miles, March 11, 2009. Charles D. Anderson, July 27, 2010. Arthur C. Pagani, September 3, 2010. Edward R. Hackinson, October 6, 2012. George R. Souza, February 1, 2015. Charles A. Dyke, October 4, 2014, and Thomas W. Hunt, April 14, 2017.
will now have a the laying of the wreath by retired members of the department. Detail. Order. Arms. Please join me in a moment of silence. We close our service today with hearts of gratitude and thankfulness to all in attendance, but especially we want to thank Chief May and all the members of the current fire department for their service and their sacrifice and for their attendance today as well. It's a it's a great honor to remember those who have served. And most of what they did was unnoticed. No cell phones, no video, maybe an old camera or two. A lot of his a lot of those memories are lost. But we know this that each of the names that were read, we know that. They were on duty. They were willing to give their time. Some of them as call members, others as permanent members. And so today we say thank you. And today we remember their sacrifice. And we honor their memory. We also say thank you to their families who, like them, sacrificed much lost time, events and parties that were interrupted, but for great cause. And so thank you to all the family members who have been so gracious to share their loved ones, men and women who serve in the fire service. As a town, we are grateful. As a pastor, I'm very grateful, and today we say thank you. Let's close our service with a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day, the calm and the quietness of this moment helps us to reflect on not just your beauty and creation, but the wonderful gifts that you give us, dedicated men and women who serve every day. We thank you today for those names that were read. And their memory will last in our hearts and our minds. And we say thank you to the God of heaven, the God who has given us such wonderful gifts. Today we dedicate this day to the men and women who serve and say thank you to the West Bridgewater Fire Department for all their sacrifice and all their professionalism and all their care. We thank you and pray in your most holy name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you once again for coming today you're all invite us, invited to join us back at West Bridgewater Fire Department where the men can thank you 
We have coffee and donuts and fellowship time. So please join us. And again, thank you very much for your attendance today. Thank you, Chief Mayor. Detail, you are dismissed.